Hey guys, it's John here, uh, designer of Songcatcher. We've been working really hard on it for the last few months and some big improvements and we're really happy to be bringing them to you. So check it out. Okay, jumping right in, we're going to have a look at the speed at which you can layer things using Songcatcher and I'm going to use a vocal melody and some harmonies as the example. Once you've thrown down the first part, you just add another audio track and go for it. So we've got three parts now and I'm um, just mixing them so that the two harmonies sit under the lead vocal. The same process applies if you want to play instruments into the microphone and we now also support line in so you can have direct input. Just resizing the keyboard here to uh, my desired key size. I'm going to uh, choose a the new hip hop kit which will be out mid May and um, we'll put down a beat for this thing. <laughs> then we can have a look at what we've just performed in the MIDI editor and make any changes if we want. Time to funk it up, let's put in some bass, see how it sounds. You can of course use a click track for all this stuff, uh, you get a tighter outcome. I've chosen not to in this example just so that it's fast and easy. This is a new feature to version 1.3, uh, what we're including is MIDI exporting so you can now take all your MIDI work and use it in your home studio, professional studio, whatever you like. Uh, use your contact samples, use BFD for the drums. This MIDI file will just have the bass and the drums which we've just put down. We've had quite a few people struggling with uh, using the audio to MIDI conversion so I'm just going to run through it quickly here. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba, ba -ba -da -ba. We've simplified the process in this version of the app so that as soon as you perform you're then taken to choose your instrument and then taken to the MIDI editor. So it's a three step process and very streamlined. You'll notice that the bigger, stronger melody notes just after the gaps are what Songcatcher picks up here. And this is uh, sort of how audio to MIDI conversion works. The trick is to be very punctual in your delivery, very percussive. So you need gaps and you need to be on pitch. If you slide around, it's not going to work. If you just sing one big long thing, it's not going to work. With this example, it's this, those little notes. There's two little notes that need to be added, so I'll just pop into the MIDI editor and I'll add them and it's all over. The MIDI editor now has undo and undo all functionality. Undo has about 10 steps back I believe and undo all will just take you straight back to the start of the process. If you snap to grid and you didn't mean to you can get rid of that with undo all.